Hey everybody, this is Alan Fenstermaker here with the Pro Wrestling Archives and I have an interesting uh, thought that I was just thinking about mainly because uh, the fact that history always repeats itself and um, in WWE nowadays like we got uh, Roman Reigns and uh, Cody Rhodes now that Roman Reigns is back in the picture Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes had a very uh, storied uh, past with the last two WrestleManias where they headlined and their, their feud over the belt and uh, how Roman Reigns came back and like gave Cody Rhodes that look. You know, it's to think everybody's thinking uh, when you know when is uh, Roman going to get a title match, his uh, rematch, or get a get a shot at Cody Rhodes? Now, I mentioned before Roman uh, challenging Gunther to win the World Heavyweight Championship. But another thought that I have too is because Roman's got some unfinished business with the Bloodline, and right now the Bloodline holds the tag team championships. Another thought that I had, too, is because Cody has uh, unfinished business with the Bloodline as well. And I was thinking back uh, when in the Attitude Era around that time when uh, The Rock and Stone Cold are fighting and having their feud. And then WWE started teaming them up and having The Rock and Stone Cold team up in uh, tag team matches. And um, I'm actually kind of thinking about that now, too, because... Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns is like the Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock of uh, modern day because they have a feud with each other. So does uh, yeah, just like The Rock and Austin did. And I could kind of see them having a similar type of deal where uh, WWE would have uh, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns team up. Like I guarantee you, like going into WrestleMania, nobody would ever have thought that would happen. But WWE, like uh, it's expect the unexpected. And how loud would that be? Like, you see Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns having this intense rivalry uh, spanning two years over the Universal title. Cody beats Roman. Roman comes back. You expect the two of them are going to go at it again and pick up the rivalry and the feud over the belt. But then, like, uh, it ends up happening where uh, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns end up teaming up and winning the tag team titles from the bloodline. So, Anyways, that'll be kind of an interesting thing because uh, they did the same thing similar with uh, Stone Cold and Triple H after they had a rivalry. They became the tag team champions. Stone Cold and The Rock teamed up a couple times too, so I wouldn't be surprised if WWE teamed up Cody Rhodes and uh, Roman Reigns and just actually did a complete swerve and just had them team up and go against the bloodline and uh, take those tag titles. So that's just a thought that I have too, like that or like... Um, have uh, Roman Reigns beat Gunther and win the uh, World Heavyweight Championship because with uh, Netflix purchasing WWE, uh, having WWE Raw on there and all, and uh, them wanting Roman Reigns on Raw, Roman Reigns, I, f I see him capturing the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. So, anyways, uh, those are just some thoughts that I had about uh, wrestling and how things repeat themselves. And um, just uh, some thoughts I had. And uh, feel free to comment below. Until next time, peace out.